Business Brain, episode 502 for Casual Friday, November 17th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take an idea or three, we crunch it, we dissect it, we run it through the ringer so that we can each tune our business brains in order to keep living our charmed lives. Sponsors for this episode include fastmail.com slash business brain. That's where you're going to go to get 10% off your first year. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. I'm still out here in California, Dave. This is Shannon Jean. Happy hey, Friday. Shan- Happy Friday. Hey, Shannon, we made a mistake. Actually, we made probably 15 of them. Dude, <laughs> <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm happy to uh, be able to talk about it, and to I have so much experience making mistakes over the years and recovering from them that I know the secret is, you know, like I know we're going to talk about our courses. Well, we suck at courses right now, but we're not Cur- going to suck forever. Right? We're okay. Currently, we're okay yeah. sucking at this. Right? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I saw a thing the other day. Uh, it said that uh, fail stands for first oh. attempt in learning. Yeah, I oh. love that. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so we have made our first attempt and we are learning. One lesson is when you're going to give the uh, free course away, like, you know, we have our, our productivity course and it feedback about the content of the course has been fantastic. And then we've had a few of you point out that, when you get to the end of, you know, we, we, we lamented in the previous episode that we had a bunch of you uh, go do the, the two day, the free two day sort of trial. And no one had signed up at that point in time. This has changed since then. We've actually had some, some sales, which is woo. Like, you know, great. That's right, man. Um, it, we, we lamented that none of them had converted and you pointed out to us that, you didn't know that there was a conversion to happen because we didn't put a button in the email to convert. So you it finished the, the next step. second yeah. day and then it was like, all right, all done. It's so obvious. And it's like, <laughs> how many, you know, like we were just talking the other day, we've launched like over 20 companies uh, between us yes. and it's just, you know, doing something brand new. You're like, Oh yeah. Hey, where's the call to action on the next thing? Where's the button that, okay, you've, you've enjoyed these two. You want to do the third one. And so, uh, yep. you know, it, we're, we're doing our our uh, due diligence and getting everybody's feedback, which is terrific. And we're learning every day. We will never make that particular mistake again. Well, at we'll least not out of out of <laughs> ignorance. Like we we might yes, make it out of oversight, true. but it, we, yeah, it won't be yeah. ignorance. It, you know, you say anytime somebody says, "Oh yeah, you know, I I've launched a company," or you guys together have launched twenty companies, which is actually true. I think it's it's more than that. I yeah. you know I always I stop and. I, I have like one of those moments where I, my, my body like tenses because launch is not the right word. It is willed into existence yeah. beyond all odds, right? Like it's against yeah, all yeah, odds. Right. I have, I have willed a company into existence because I was, I just was not, I wasn't going to accept there's no other option. The, yeah. Yes. There was no other option. It was like, no, I believe this Correct. can work. I know I keep screwing it up it's my fault that it hasn't worked yet. I'm going to make it work. Yep. And then I make it work. Now, exactly. sometimes exactly. they don't work for very long. Uh, y- you know, it might be a year or two and then it's like, whatever. Okay. Move on. Like that kind of thing. That's fine. You learn, you move on, you iterate, but sometimes they last for decades and yeah, that's great exactly. too. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're, you're that's always even better. In fact, new. You know, yeah. 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 And you're always learning something new and and you just don't know where things lead. You know, you could start, get something going. And, uh, you know, I, I, uh, we've talked to lots of examples on the show over the years, but things usually don't turn out exactly the way you think they will, but they lead somewhere positive when you're willing to put your neck out there and talk about it in public. And, and, you know, one of the things like I'm on the X platform a lot and I always tell people, you know, if all you talk about success, sometimes I, I think it turns people off or it can demotivate them because they think, wow, how, this guy just did it. It was so easy for them and I'm really struggling. Well, talking about the failures is just a great way to connect and to help other people yeah. uh, 
get motivated. So I think it's, we're going to build here in public and uh, we're going to yep. get better at it. Yep. Yeah. You, you know, you say that things always ch change, you know, things are never what you plan for them to be. And that's true. I, a lot of people talk about how, oh yes, we had to pivot our company. I, I think pivot is a word that is used in hindsight. I, I, I'm not sure how yeah. many times I, I know of like a small business who sits and says, I think today time to pivot. We should pivot. <laughs> Usually it's like, holy crap, we're not making any money. What are we going to yeah. do? We got to figure this do? out. Yeah. You're in blind panic. There's like, you, you know, the, the, your hair's on fire and yeah. you wind up changing. It's like, well, I, I don't know. Let's try this. And you try it and it, it works, but it's not the first thing you tried. You say, well, let's try this the 20th time. And it's like, oh, holy crap. Wait, wait, wait. That worked. Oh, it did. Oh, I expected that to fail too. Great. Let's do that. And then in retrospect, you say, ah, oh, yes. Well, you know, 2018 was the year that we pivoted yeah. from it's doing a this. Fancy word. It's that, a fancy yeah, word. I, I associate it with, with like startups and venture capitalists yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But and, even, and we don't it, typically talk about that. Either. But I mean, we're, we, we are, we do run startups, but I mean, they, they're yeah. self-funded, maybe not venture, Typically. not VC yeah, or, funded or, or you know, yeah. but, yeah. but it's like, but it's still, I, I think even in that world, it's the hair on fire. We need to change. We need to try something different. And you just throw a bunch of stuff against the wall and whatever sticks, like that's what you're doing next. And yep. it's not, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, um, it's not the calm planned thing that it always sounds better after when you're looking sound, back. The dots sure. are easier to connect when you're looking yep. backwards. All right, look folks, let's talk email. It's essential, right? We can't run our businesses without it, but it can be a bit of a hassle, right? Privacy concerns, managing different accounts. It's a lot. And this is where our sponsor fast mail comes in. They've been the champions of email privacy for over 20 years. And what does that mean for you? No ads, no trackers, just your email as it should be. With FastMail, you get your calendar, your email, and your contacts all neatly packaged in one app and service. And their features? Game changers. Mast email protects your real email address. Scheduled send lets you control when your emails go out and snooze. Well, just handy, right? And they've got various plans to suit everybody, whether it's for just personal use or your business needs or all of the, the above. Worried about switching providers? Look, don't be. FastMail makes it super easy to move over from your current service. I did this with my email uh, six or seven years ago. I've been on FastMail now and I migrated from Google, like Gmail. I gave my Google credentials to FastMail. It logged into my Gmail account, started slurping things over. I went to sleep. By the time I woke up in the morning, all my email was moved over. Everything was done. And then let's talk about customization, folders, labels, custom swipes, themes. You can tailor everything to fit your style. Plus with human support, always ready to help. You're never alone in your email journey. So if you're looking for an email provider that values privacy, productivity, and personalization, FastMail is the way to go. To learn more, visit fastmail.com slash businessbrain for 10% off your first year. And don't forget to follow them on Facebook, X, Mastodon, and LinkedIn. FastMail, simplifying email, prioritizing you, and our thanks to FastMail for sponsoring this episode. Hey, uh... Shannon, you are one of the best storytellers that I know in that you have embedded storytelling in everything that you do. Uh, and that includes telling stories to yourself. The, the, yeah. Where, where you, you know, you, you say the well, most this important is, kind. This is the, yeah, <laughs> this is how I want this story to end. And then you know what path you're supposed to walk to get there. So, yeah. It, it, you, you started it, earlier this week, you started sort of workshopping this idea of a storytelling framework. And I, I think it's more right. about the, the, the storytelling lifestyle. perhaps. <laughs> yeah. There's, and as I've kind of been working this through, I, I realized there's really two aspects to it. And, I, and I, one of them I've talked about before, uh, and, but the other, the second one, I don't know if we've talked about it a lot, but I know you know a lot about it. So look, I'd like to jump in and yeah. let, let's talk about my favorite is uh, from a personal standpoint, is this concept of reverse storytelling, and in in a in a nutshell, it's basically it's a system where you decide what you want your life to look like a year from now, five years, ten years, twenty five years, whatever time frame you want, and you you need to 
envision yourself telling that story to, I, I typically do it to a group of people sitting around a campfire. This is my mental image. Okay. And then once you create that, that story in your head, that's at the end, then you can create this roadmap to get there. Right. And it's, 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 oh, there's a lot more nuance so, to so it. So you make sure you tell, you come up with this story and then you tell it to other people to make it real for yourself. Is that right? I, yeah. Well, I, but I don't talk about what I'm going to do. Oh, I, always I talk see. About okay. what I've oh, done. Oh, I see. You don't actually tell them at no. the, you envision telling head. them at the campfire. I, I misunderstood. Correct. Okay. Correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah, it. That's yep. my anchor. So yes. my, I'm throwing this anchor way out down the road. Right. You know, right. I want to live in yeah, okay. this. Yeah, you know, certain kind of house. I wanted to do this. I wanted that. I wanted these businesses. I wanted to feel like a member of the community. All these things that I have vi kind of visualizing the the end game. Yeah, uh, but I've done it along the way. Like, okay, he's five years. This is the kind of thing, and and so, you know, it 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 works both ways because in addition, and we we've talked about this, Dave. At the same time, I I'm really focused on this story of success. I also chunk out a part of my brain to focus on the story of failure and what would it look like if I failed and what would it look like if I wasn't able to pay back the million dollar mistake that I made, you know, 15, 20 years ago, what would yeah, my yeah. life look like Yeah, if I had declared bankruptcy? What, what would it look like if I was not a, I, I do this personally too. What if, if I was not a great spouse and I wasn't surrounded, you know, so I picture myself living in a, a little, studio apartment just miserable because i i live most of my life outside and so you know you want to I, I always picture myself like basking in the glory of success but then real quick i'm like oh uh, this could be the opposite of that so that reverse storytelling is a just a massive motivator for me and you know i i've i've made it to a certain step and i i kind of I, I we say now i've i've made it to the other side of the grind the yeah, daily yeah. grind but there's still a lot that like unknowns of where I want, what I want to do next. And I'm creating that new story of what I want to be able to talk about five years down the line when somebody's a group of people are sitting around the campfire and they ask me, what do you do? Cause I get asked that question all the time and it's sure. kind of a, it's not easy to answer. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's that part of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, people ask so. me and I, it's like, I, what I, I usually do is start with, I used to use Mac Observer uh, as the thing uh, because it was the anchor. most public yeah. of the things yeah. that I'd done. Like most people over their lives heading, if they were interested in technology or, you know, had an iPhone, they yes. encountered Mac Observer at least randomly once, you know, and so I could say that and be like, oh, and it would at least just let them understand what I did. And I think that was a big part of why I declined offers to sell it for so long uh, mm, in, in retrospect, you know, it was like, well, then what am yeah. I going to say? Cause now I, yeah. I tell people I, I I'm a professional podcaster. Well, that's not the only thing I do, but it is one of them and it's not incorrect. Yeah. And it's, you know, especially when like a comedian asks, what do you do for a living? I'm a professional podcaster. Yeah. They, they have a field day with this, you know, <laughs> so, yes, yes. But, I, yeah. I always give them a quick and easy answer and then I'm able to tell a lot about that person if they want to dive a little deeper. They want to so know I more. always just say, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I own small businesses. And many people, maybe most say, oh, that's cool. And, but others that I maybe find a little more engaging say, oh, what kind of small businesses, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah. so that, that's reverse storytelling. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on some stuff with that because I think it's really important. It served me so well. The second part of storytelling that I think is great for your business is, story branding and that's like i use apple as a great example because they don't really sell their product in the commercials and the marketing you know they sell what you can achieve with their product yeah. and how they make you feel uh you know you see when the ipod was it wasn't ipod does all this great stuff it was a thousand songs in your pocket because you could envision that that's a great story and even the the outdoor advertising back then it was the silhouette dancing around right and, yeah. and it just had you knew exactly what it was and it it sold that product you know same with the with the phone you know it's all about photos and video all that kind of stuff um 
not a big focus on specifications, details, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, in fact, there's, I, there I is an intentional lack of yes, focus on yes. specs. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, it, that, that, that's what they've always matter. said, and, yes. and they've yes. made it true. That's right. They yeah. made it true. They, they manifested it because it always used to be Intel, yada, yada, this, that, that, that. And we would always compare specs, but Apple was always the one saying, that's not a re that doesn't matter. You yep. know, it's what they can do with these things. So you can do the same thing with your, your business. I guarantee it. Like if you're an HVAC serp company or whatever, installation service, sell comfort and sell security. You're going to be warm. You're going to be cool. All this kind of stuff. Mm. If you're an accounting firm, sell peace of mind. You're not going to get audited. And here's what you're going to be able to do with the money that we save you, right? If you're building houses, sell dreams, not houses, right? All that kind of stuff. How are your products going to make people feel? What's the impact on their life? That's what story branding is. And, you know, when I, when I did it with Tech Restore, our mantra was changing the world one repair at a time. And we marketed that to customers to, to try to elevate ourselves and not have to compete on price and everything else. But we also marketed it to our employees because it gave them a stronger sense of purpose, which is what all of us want, right? right. Rather than just a job. Right. And so I would constantly tell the story about how, hey, that repair you did, look, this person used it or this student achieved this thing. This person had to turn this thing in. You recovered this guy's thesis. All those, those are powerful stories. And I think that's the, you know, um, that's, that's the way you should be, be branding and selling your products. Cause it's, it's, it's just more powerful than trying to push something out there and compete with somebody, you know, to be a nickel less. If you're <laughs> having trouble coming up with this for your business, shoot us a note, feedback at businessbrain.show. Yeah. Tell us what your business does and you can be very brass tacks about it. You, you know, I, yeah. I fix computers, I sell whatever. air conditioners, yep. what, whatever it is. And we'll workshop it with you. We're happy to do that. I would love that. Yeah. yeah. Feedback at businessbrain.show. And if it's something that, you know, it warrants a, a deeper discussion, we can do it on the show. It's it's going to be a blast. So, yeah, let us know. We, yeah. we, we want to do this with you. Love, love to help. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll ask you for help. In fact, I'm, I'm going to ask you for help. We've put this productivity course together. What's the right way for us to market that? you know, right now we're selling a productivity course. We're not following our own advice with this, Shannon. We, I turns out that I've identified <laughs> another mistake we've made. Of course. Of course. <laughs> so let us know. We're going to come up with some ideas because it's what we do, but uh, let us know how we should be doing this feedback at businessbrain.show. We really, we want to know uh, it's, you know, we're, we'll, we'll do this together. Yeah, absolutely. We have will a great weekend, everybody. Have a have a great weekend. Make sure you check out fastmail.com slash business brain for your 10% off. Uh, remember that uh, fail means first attempt in learning. And uh, keep living that charmed life. We'll see you next week.